Jack Klugman was a famous actor who was really good at his job. He played roles in movies, TV, and on stage. People liked him because he acted like real people. He worked hard and made characters seem real. Whether you saw him in The Odd Couple or in other shows and movies, you could tell he loved acting. Share your stories about him below and stick around because there are more interesting facts to come in this video. Jack Klugman, an actor known for his significant influence in the film industry, left a lasting impression on Hollywood and beyond. He changed how everyday characters were portrayed, bringing realness and depth to his roles. His performances connected with audiences, showing true human emotions and experiences. In various films, he showed his versatility as an actor, playing different characters convincingly. His commitment to delivering genuine performances set a standard for new actors. Working with famous directors and actors improved the quality of filmmaking during his time. He helped shape the industry and inspired future actors and filmmakers. Besides acting, he also spoke about important social issues through film. He wanted to create stories that mattered and use his platform to make a difference. His dedication to using film for social change influenced Hollywood. Overall, Jack Klugman's impact on the film industry was deep and long-lasting. His work enriched Hollywood's culture, leaving behind inspiration for filmmakers and audiences. In the TV series Quincy M.E., he played Dr. R. Quincy M.E. sometimes. He couldn't be on the show, so guest actors David O'Neill and Louise Latham filled in for him. They'd show Dr. Quincy being busy with court cases or medical events. Besides acting, he co-owned a racehorse named Jacqueline Klugman. He was also the uncle of Deborah Klugman and brother of Morris Klugman. His involvement in entertainment and personal stuff made his life interesting. This mix of work and personal life added depth to the character. This made him more than just an actor. It made him someone worth remembering. In 12 Angry Men, Jack Klugman played Juror 5. Sadly, he passed away on December 24, 2012. With his death, none of the 12 jurors from the movie are alive. Interestingly, he ended up making more money from his 10% ownership in The Odd Couple than from the $7,000 per episode he received during the show's final season. In The Odd Couple, he played Oscar Madison. Notably, Gary Wahlberg, who played Speed, would later appear in Quincy M.E. alongside him. Wahlberg and Klugman had been friends for many years. This connection adds an interesting layer to their professional relationship. This information about Klugman's career illustrates the twist and turns often seen in the lives of Hollywood actors, showing that success in the industry can come from unexpected sources. Actor Jack Klugman faced numerous personal challenges throughout his life. Born in 1922, he experienced difficult relationships, including two unsuccessful marriages. These struggles took a toll on his emotional well-being. One major difficulty for him was the loss of his vocal cords to throat cancer in the 80s. Despite this physical hardship, he showed resilience by relearning to speak and continued his acting career. Despite personal hardships, he remained dedicated to his work, showing determination in tough times. His journey also included professional setbacks like the cancellation of his show Quincy. And me, however, he didn't give up and found success in other roles, showing his ability to adapt and overcome obstacles. In his later years, he faced health problems, adding to his challenges. Despite these tests, he kept pursuing his passion for acting until his passing in 2012. In summary, he navigated through tough personal relationships, health issues, and professional setbacks, showing resilience, determination, and commitment to his craft throughout his life. In a gritty portrayal as Dave Sconestein in The Detective, Jack Klugman laid the groundwork for his later success. The movie emerged two years before he skyrocketed to fame in the TV comedy The Odd Couple, and eight years before earning recognition as Quincy M.E. Hailing from the tough streets of Philadelphia, he had a stint as a street peddler. It was during this period, post-Rat Pack era, that Frank Sinatra, himself a street-savvy personality, developed a profound respect for him. Subsequently, he found himself in Sinatra's outer circle, receiving invitations to the legendary singer's parties and events in Palm Springs. Transitioning from the big screen to Broadway, he took on the role of Oscar Madison in The Odd Couple. His portrayal of Oscar spanned several months during the play's original run, setting the stage for the beloved character he would later bring to life on television. Before his Hollywood journey, Klugman honed his craft at Carnegie Mellon University, a crucial step that would contribute to his later success on both stage and screen. In summary, his diverse roles, from the streets of Philadelphia to the glitz of Palm Springs, showcased his versatility and laid the foundation for his enduring career in the world of entertainment. 
Married to Peggy Crosby, the former wife of Bing Crosby's son, Philip Crosby, his personal life intertwined with notable connections. Adding another dimension to his career, he served on the board of directors of New York's National Actors Theater. Transitioning to the professional arena, he portrayed Dr. R. Quincy, Emmy in the television series Quincy Emmy. His performance earned him multiple Emmy Award nominations, mirroring his recognition for the role in Odd Couple. While he clinched an Emmy for the latter, Quincy eluded him in the awards arena. Marriage and connections aside, his involvement in the National Actors Theatre Board showcased his commitment to the broader theatre community. His Emmy accolades underlined not only his versatility, but also his significant role in television. In the world of classic television, few actors made as significant an impact in a single show as he did in The Twilight Zone. Notably, he was one of the few actors alongside Robert McCord to appear in four out of the five seasons of this groundbreaking series. His presence graced the first, third, fourth, and fifth seasons, showcasing his talent in various roles, one of which was Captain Ross. This feat places him in a select group with other actors who shared similar screen time across the show's run, illustrating his versatility and the trust the showrunners placed in his acting capabilities. Beyond his professional achievements, he was a family man. He had two sons, Adam and David, and was also a stepfather to Leslie Klein. His role as a father and stepfather added a personal dimension to his life, balancing his professional accolades with the joys and challenges of family life. His passing marked the end of an era in television history, coincidentally on the same day as Charles Durney, another esteemed actor. This coincidence underscores the unpredictable nature of life and the shared destiny between contemporaries in the acting world. Their deaths on the same day left a void in the industry, marking the end of two illustrious careers in film and television. In the TV series Quincy M.E., Jack Klugman played Dr. R. Quincy M.E. Interestingly, he stands out as the only regular cast member in the final episode, where he plays a key role in a backdoor pilot for a proposed series about a groundbreaking clinic. Despite showing potential, NBC decided not to go ahead with the new series. In the movie Days of Wine and Roses, Klugman played Jim Hungerford. Notably, the station wagon borrowed by Jack Lemmon's character, Joe Clay from Klugman's Jim Hungerford was a 1962 Mercury Comet. Outside of acting, Klugman took part in celebrity competitions. In 1977, he joined the Celebrity Challenge of the Sexes, showing his skills in billiards. Despite winning the match, he lost by default because he forgot to call the final shot. Overall, Jack Klugman made his mark in the entertainment industry as an actor in TV and movies, as well as in unique challenges. His presence was felt in the projects he worked on, even if some didn't come to fruition, 